Hi there. I'd like to uh, send my greetings to the America House and to Munich and to Bavaria. I can't tell you how happy I am to have this exhibition there. That, that happiness is tempered with a little bit of sadness that I can't be there with you to celebrate the opening um, together. Um, but I know that I'm in good hands because of all the wonderful people that have worked on this project and especially Thorsten uh, Kasper, who has, has been following and working on this project from the very beginning when it was in Berlin. Um, again, I am sorry I can't be there, but we're hoping that throughout the run of this exhibition, which goes into next year, I can be there with you all. Um, I especially want to thank the Council General, um, Megan Gregonius, for participating with this project. Also, the uh, Bavarian Science and Art Minister, Bernd Sibler, and of course, the Director, Micah Swinkenberger. Did I get that right? I'm not sure if I did. Um, the exhibition is, you know, for me, is such an important exhibit about culture and history, but especially the culture and history of New York in the 70s and 80s. And of course, making that connection with Berlin too, when the Berlin Wall came down. So for me, this is an important exhibition. And I'm so thrilled actually to be in the America House, because I just saw photos of it recently. and. The renovation looks stunning and I'm pleased to be there with the rest of you all. Um, I'm hoping to come later in the fall and we can have a talk and a chat in person, but I want to congratulate everybody on the incredible job that they've done. Um, what I'm hoping to show in these photographs is a bit of history and culture that doesn't really exist anymore this sort of energy and the vibrance that was happening in the 70s and 80s in New York, I actually have to say, I'm starting to feel a little of that again. Um, Cause I was recently in New York City where my studio and my home is. And like most of us around the world, we have been quarantined. And so I've only been in and out of New York City a bit, but I've seen from the the, I would call them parades, not protests, but parades uh, about wanting change. And uh, in a big capital city like New York City, this is going to be great because this change will mean, uh, it's a, in a sort of capitalist way, um, people are afraid to go back to New York City and there's not much to be afraid of because it still has its energy. But what's going to happen? because all of all of you, our great European friends in Germany and Italy and in France, are not going to be coming to visit us in New York City for a bit. Um, it's going to be a lot cheaper to come there. It's going to be a lot cheaper to stay there. And so with that comes hopefully a new immigration of artists and creative people because they can afford to be back in the city. And so I personally am looking forward to that myself. And um, in the exhibition, you will see that creativity that once was and still is and hopefully will be again. And everything from Andy in the American flag to Basquiat holding a globe to Mick Jagger out in the Hamptons to all the kind of superstars, whether they were known or not known, all the people in my pictures are kind of superstars. So, um, and if you need more description about the pictures, you just go online and I think the American Embassy has a virtual tour. I think I know, has a virtual tour. And there's, I go into more descriptions of the pictures and I'm hopefully maybe the, uh, the America House will have some connection with that. But the bottom line is I wanna say thank you to everybody. I am desperately sad that I can't be there with you. Um, and, uh, but uh, I guess, as they say, I'll be the same. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye.